Hey, uh, my name is Ben Tatao, I'm the Product Marketing Manager for SU Graphics. Currently, we actually have our discrete you know, DX 10.1 product, OpenGL 2.1. It supports you know, all the you know, 3D games, 3D applications, different APIs, different applications. And also, you know, on top of that, on top of the 3D portion, 3D architecture, it actually supports you know, the HD video, like HD DVD and also Blu-ray technology at this point. So those are some of the key technologies and key architectural points SD Graphics is actually focusing on. So in terms of looking at the competitive market, we're trying to get back into the market because S3 has been you know, out of the market for quite some time. And we're, you know, we're getting our foot back in the door again with a lot of our customers, both in the retail and also the OEM channels. And if you look at our new product in the competitive market space, you know, the 64-bit market segment, we're actually about you know, 10 to 50% higher in performance versus our competitors. So that's actually good news. So I think that's you know, our main focus, you know, get back into the market and make sure we actually have competitive you know, graphics. So our current product, the uh, 430 GT, which is based on you know, 5, 625 megahertz you know, engine clock, that product will actually be shipping to the market you know, end of this month, end of February. And then we actually have you know, additional products that we're going to introduce into the market you know, around the same event time frame. Past looking at previous generation products, for example, Matrix, which is the S25, S27 product, in those, with those product launches, we actually had some driver, you know, a lot of driver issues. But this time around, it's, it's actually reversed. So, you know, out of 200 games, maybe at this point, you know, right before product launch, we only have, you know, a handful, like like five bugs, you know, and 195 games working. Whereas in the past, it might have been reversed. So this this product launch actually looks a lot better than you know. What those are actually, you know, the same uh, market segment products like the uh, NVIDIA 8400 and they're also, you know, the 9X series and also the 3450 and 3470 from ATI. So if you look at apples, apples, apples to apples, you know, comparison, you know, engine clock speed, memory clock speeds, you know, different memory types, you know, performance, you know, it's in the range, you know, 10 to 15 percent higher. We have a scalable architecture, even though we're currently in the 64-bit market segment, if you look at you know using our different cores, you can actually scale it up with different memory interfaces to go into the 128 bit or even 256 you know, bit market segment, so more of the high performance. But our main goal was you know build a, a, a competitive discrete graphics core first. You know, once we have that technology down, then you know moving forward, then you know at least we know we can be competitive in the market space. It actually has a ULP products, so ultra low power and Compared to you know our competitors' products, the uh, power consumption is at least two to three watts below our competitors. And the uh, you know if you look at synthetic benchmarks like BD Mark 06, the uh, average score is probably about you know three four hundred points higher than our competitors. Multi so you actually have you know two PCI Express Plus interfaces. You can plug in two of our you know graphics cards, and that actually uses a peer-to-peer -peer protocol over the PCI Express Plus, and that's actually you know showcase and demo live over in our racing simulator and our GDC. Around the 95 to 2000 time frame, SD Graphics is actually number one in the discrete graphics market, so we're shipping to all the big OEMs. And then during that time, there were some, I guess, management, management changes and decisions where, you know, we didn't come out with certain technology, you know, we didn't jump on the bandwagon of certain technologies. So we actually lost a lot of market share to our competitors, and that opened, you know, the market for, you know, NVIDIA and ATI at that time. But currently we're trying to, you know, get back in the market. We have the technology, we have the, you know, we have capable engineers, we have a great team. Headquarters for S3 Graphics is over in Fremont, California. We have about 150 people there. And then we also have an R&D center, a huge R&D center over in Shanghai with about 400 people. And we also have some, uh, about 30, 40 people over in our Shenzhen office that handle, you know, the CM. You know, contract manufacturers, ODMs on that side doing uh, you know, manufacturing line right. issues. Our current foundry partner is Fujitsu Foundry. So we use their you know, 65 nanometer and then moving forward, you know, their newer process technologies. Currently, yeah, we were part of, a, we were a joint venture with them in the past, but as of last year, we're actually a spin off. So the whole business unit actually spun off, so we're considered a separate entity. And then, you know, their partners in a sense where, you know, they leverage our, our graphics IP on some of their product lines. So S3 is finally back.